¿Cómo estás? Bien, muy bien. Welcome back to the motorcycle channel. This is the devil here. The devil is going to talk to you all about the good stuff today. Mm. Yeah, and I want to tell you guys, it's a great day for riding. Look how beautiful that sky is. And we're just having a great time today out here. We're on the R6. Yamaha R6. I love this machine. Listen to this thing. Fucking sounds awesome. Um, so today we're going to talk about uh, the Volkswagen diesel scandal again. Uh, now, I talked about this in one of my other videos, uh, explaining what the Volkswagen diesel scandal is. If you want to check out that video, go ahead and click up at the cards, like right at the top up here. Uh, and you can watch the video on all the diesel madness that's going on with Volkswagen. So since I made that last video, I had a couple thoughts about the whole diesel scandal and it really got me thinking. So I kind of wanted to make another video talking about, you know, my thoughts about this. So, you know, just to sum it up, Volkswagen installed some type of software in their car that allowed them to pass the emissions test. But in reality, their cars were polluting like 40 times more than they were supposed to and it was killing the environment. So they're being called cheaters out there and lying to the public. Now what I wanted, I, I talked about this for a while and I know a lot of people that work in the automotive industry and that are really into cars. And the thing that I thought about it was, is that we're gonna find out a lot of stuff in the next couple months. I think, you know, we just entered fourth quarter of business. Uh, so in this fourth quarter, we're gonna find out a lot of shit. And one of those things that we're going to find out is that every manufacturer is cheating on emissions. Now, I always wondered this a couple of years back, and I'll give you my example of why I wondered this. I have a Ford Mustang. Now, this Mustang is older. It's from the 90s. And the, the emission system on that car consists of six catalytic converters. Now, what a catalytic converter is, is it's a type of... Uh, device that's inside of the exhaust system on modern cars and it uses heat to transfer or to turn uh, carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide and NOx. It turns all that stuff into water or reduces the amount of emissions that the car push, puts out. So my car in, from the 90s, which is a Mustang, has six of these things. My God, you should see how big they are. Now, after 1999, Mustangs, Ford Mustangs, started coming with four catalytic converters. Now, I always wondered to myself, how is it that the same car, you know, with no difference in emissions controls or computer, the engine's exactly the same, how is it it could come with only four catalytic converters? Now, fast forward about like five or six years later, when the 2005 Mustangs came out, and now those ones are only coming with two catalytic converters. Now, how is this going on? Okay, it's just one thing that I've always thought is really weird in the industry. Now, another thing that I thought is weird is the Bugatti Veyron. Now, I was watching a uh, documentary on the Bugatti Veyron, and the guys were saying that when they were testing out the Bugatti Veyron, uh, you know, what would happening was that the car would shoot out like a, a six-foot flame out the back of the car while it was driving on the streets. Now, how the hell is that supposed to pass emissions with a freaking huge flame popping out the back? And when you think about it, after I started thinking about this for a while, uh, you know, when you think about that Bugatti is owned by Volkswagen. So Volkswagen was cheating on the Bugatti Veyron. Now, a lot of things I think we're gonna find out is that all these companies are cheating. Some might be cheating more than others. And I honestly think that it's the Germans that are cheating the most. That's honestly what I think. I don't think the Japanese are cheating very much. They make really small displacement engines. And I doubt the Americans are cheating very much because Ford, which is, an, uh, Ford is a solid company for building cars. Um, Ford actually stopped their entire development for V8 engines and started a whole new other development where it was turbocharged V6s and, um, and inline fours. 
Now, all of the cop cars in the United States, every cop car, every taxi, every government vehicle almost used to be a V8. So Ford had a lot of years and, you know, time and money invested into the development of V8 engines. But they stopped that to place all their new development on a twin turbo V6. Now, that is just crazy. And it shows they're not really cheating because they put a whole new engine development from scratch, starting from zero, built a whole new engine development, and now they're building more efficient engines for their whole fleet around the world. These people are looking at me like, what the fuck is this guy talking to himself? <laughs> so they built a whole new thing on engine development. And uh, the thing about that is, is that the other German companies, they're putting out different engines, but their engines are super crazy. You know, twin turbo V8s, all sort of stuff, super high horsepower. Uh, look at Volkswagen, a W16, W12 engines. Uh, all this stuff, you could tell, is, is a cheating. It's, it's, it's cheating the industry. Uh, now, honestly, what I think we're going to find out in the next couple months is that all these companies are cheating the emissions. Now, Volkswagen was just the one that got caught. And that's why I think this Volkswagen diesel scandal is kind of on the down low. It's only really talked about... Uh, amongst car people that are really into cars because the other auto manufacturers do not want people to know that they're cheating and I think the cheating started to happen around 2005 when the emissions or the cafe standards for the world uh, got really hard on all of the uh, all the manufacturers uh, I hate when these fuckers do not use their signal and it's always volt look at that no turn no signal ran the red light fuck you fuck you bro so um yeah yeah so you know i think volkswagen is uh they just got caught but honestly i feel like everybody they're all gonna get caught <laughs> uh everybody's gonna get busted real real soon unless they start covering their ass and they should because the auto manufacturers uh they need to start getting they need to start giving us better technology uh, I personally feel that electric vehicles should be on the road now. Uh, General Motors came out with the EV1 in the 1990s, and we've had the technology for 20 plus years now. Uh, we need that technology, and the auto manufacturers are holding that stuff back from us because they want to get that last bit of money out of gasoline. They know that gasoline is on the way out, electricity or electric powered cars is, is going to be coming into the future soon but they're holding back all that electricity and all that high technology so they can suck more money out of us they want to get people to buy cars every year lease cars every year well fuck you auto manufacturers that's bullshit uh you need to give us better cars and better technology because people like me are driving cars from you know years ago uh if this bike's from 2004. My newest car is from 2002. It's because I don't like dealing with all the new bullshit right now. And I like working on my own vehicles. But the auto manufacturers, you know, they're, they're trying to suck a lot of money from us right now. And uh, I think it's wrong. So auto manufacturers, psst, uh, get on it. Get on your business because the government's going to bust you soon. And it's, it's going to be funny. <laughs> and I'm going to laugh. And hopefully the world laughs with me now. So that was just a thought about this uh, Volkswagen diesel scandal. You know, I just wanted to go ahead and talk a little bit more about it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, just give me a thumbs up. Come on, just click that thumbs up button, bro. Just go ahead and click it, go boop, click it. And then to make it even better and get your life a little bit saucy, go ahead and click that subscribe button. It means you'll check out all my other videos. I'm putting out a lot of videos every week. Uh, about cool fun stuff and dude I live in California where the weather is always beautiful and we can lane split so watch my videos see all the cool shit I'm doing thanks a lot guys for tuning in click that subscribe button I'll put it right here once again click it go bam 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 click it tell your friends to click it tell your grandma to click it tell everybody to click it just subscribe to the channel when I get 500 subscribers i'm gonna give away a huge ass prize okay guys 
Thanks a lot for uh, tuning in. Hope you guys uh, had a great time. Remember, ride safe, have fun. See you guys next time.